And here is the Southern Cross 2 by Terra Nova. Let me give you a little 360 or so. Great space, great porch space itself and the nest. Very impressed with the tent. Have a good look folks. I'm really happy with it. Here obviously extra guy lines, this is where they'll be getting tied up. Velcro strap back on, pretty simple. That helps with the tension as well as the ventilation which is for. Let me take you around here. Extra loose bits there. Hang things up I suppose. <laughs> Doesn't really make it, the only reason why you have it there for the door lap. Extra reinforced stitching with bungee cord. Tension it up. Because these are the space areas that are certainly going to get flapping in the wind. Easy pull on the tension at each corner, sorted out a bit there. With a squeezy clip release to take it off. The two eyelets there, Terra Nova tell you to stick all the poles on the outside one. And there's the space from inside. Really good bit of space. And the clip here at the top to hold the the door back. There's a couple different ones for options on it. Those clips are similar to those found on the more expensive tents like the Hillebergs. So it's nice to see such a, a an idea on this tent as well. Only thing when you're in the tent trying to get that clip off, especially in the rain, it's going to be a little tricky. And like the Van Gogh Banshee, you just roll it up with the bungee. As you can see here as well, I had to put the camera back down. I found there was quite a bit of snagging on the zips, on the doors, as well as the inner nest. So I just have to take a bit of care when doing it properly. Here I was wanting to show you as well that it's got that squeezy clip again, the fork clip. Uh, so what I think would be good with that and a good day like it was here is uh, if you actually clip that in to prevent the door from flapping about, as you'll see here once I find it. That's obviously the, you can put that in the pole if you want, but that's designed obviously to hold the door back. But the clip itself, here it is. Clipping that in, that door's going nowhere. And then if you unzip the door, however much you want, that's going to do great for more air circulation and ventilation. I would only do it in the hot days, obviously, in the evenings. A clear sky. I think obviously when the rain's coming, as you can see, the wind will keep that space open, so the rain would be getting in. But on a nice day, the ventilation would be good for it. And you see inside, at either end, head and toe area, there's a triangle ventilation part. Which you see in the black triangle spaces here at the ends. That's only a bit of ventilation really from coming out of the nest. The Banshee actually had a lot more. Well, of course, here at the nest you can see more on the space at the sides. But uh, the doors give extra. Found just a normal setup with the inner. It was great and a nice surprise to see the inner was already in place when I unwrapped the tent. I was really happy how that came. Saved the extra work. Again, just a little bit more snagging with the one hand. And just get it open and get us in the tent here. And I get. <laughs> yep, and there's my nice big boots. So here we are inside the tent, getting my boots off. And that nice big bit of porch area at the one side. Remember the same size of porch is on both sides, which is great. But the nest, look at the space. Look at the head height. I've been longing for it for so long. I'm just zipping it up here. You like my funky socks? <laughs> yeah, zipping up a little better. I'm finding something new when I'm inside the tent. Just getting to grips with all the little inlets and clips and things.
Here they are. I think at first glance, seeing them, I was wondering what they were for. Uh, the clip hooks are obviously the parts that go on outside the poles to hold the, the door back. And I think the the circle loops are just maybe for hanging things on if we need to, a torch or something. A light bulb, who knows. Any recommendations, let me know. But here's the vent. It's literally that triangle at that side and the same at the other. Simplified by a bit of Velcro sticking. Unlike the Banshee, which were zips. I'll get you back down here, give you an idea of the space. Head tight's great. <laughs> it's a little bit saggy. Those material. The material, I suppose, could be stretched out more. It'll cert you'll certainly be upside to side, probably, if it was uh, two people. Still great space, but for one man, it's beyond perfect. Yep, that's a pocket I'm putting the spare pegs in. There are two pockets in the nest. The one at my right shoulder there, and diagonally down to the your right of the view. Is the other as if making head to toe with two people and the other ventilation up the top there. I do do some talking in the video after this microphone, it's just because of too many people were interrupting me. But here it comes. The reason the music is on this video is because I'm in Mold Wee Granny's back garden with the washing out and the neighbours are doing a lot of work at theirs. I've been interrupted twice by two other people <laughs> want to know more about it, chit chat with other things and then when there's a little baby outside <coughs> in a nice sunny day all the ladies like to giggy giggy goo so I finally get a little bit of silence and I'm using it to my advantage <laughs> but as you saw with most of the commentary which I've I'm already thinking in my head I'm going to do so, obviously you've seen that by now through the editing. Good bit of space, even just in the nest, great space. Head tight, finally I'm going to be comfortable in a tent, unlike the Banshee and screwed up in it, curled up. Uh, there's still some inner bits to be hanging your torch, even if you wanted to get some sort of... There are only two here, so you can... Well, there's one there as well actually, not at the other side though. Make some sort of hanger with some paracord, if not just clip things in. The pockets diagonally apart obviously indicates maybe head to toe for two people, which would be very easily fitting two in here. There's two at my side, it would be a snug fit, but I trust this more for two people than I do with the Banshee 200. Uh, plenty of porch space each side as well as the nest, so this tent is definitely one for space. Those extra little clip-ons at the sides with the zips uh, just add more security. Obviously the two clips at the inner side depends on how you want to clip it out. I do like the idea with the clip in place, it's going to be well secured and then if we unzip it, it the door still stays in place but you'll be able to get more out of uh, air coming in to help with condensation. Of course if it's in a nice day and night like it is today. And a storm night might not be so good. The only thing I'd say about, uh, let me see. The only thing I'd say about these, I'm not too sh Well, I've definitely thought the ventilation here, plus at the outer side when it gets tensioned. Uh, obviously, the extra guy line in the bag to do that and set it up. But the thing I prefer about the Banshee with the inner is uh, it's well zipped here it's just loose and for the price that we're paying and what the RRP is if a Banshee 200 can get the same type of 5000 millimeter static head and have a lot of inner breathability in the budget then I'd expect it from a four season tent really uh, I'll do the job nonetheless it's not a very important factor I just think zipping and things are more secure but for me, for me it's definitely the space. I'll be very happy and comfortable in here in a long haul, overnight or whatever.
really like it. I just need to get out and test it now. <laughs> the only other thing I'd say with the Banshee and this part used to be able to tension it and maybe pull it out more but there's no connection with this, it's just loose which might free up more port space if we need it but if there was a bit of tension there it'd keep it more more spacious and more secure I suppose but there's my boots usually in the Banshee I need one on top of the other next to the rucksack and this little bit but plenty of space plus there's one at the other side and then the space in the nest perfect that. these are size 9's or sorry I think they're size 10's actually plenty of space yeah looks a little saggy but it might just because it's new when I get the rest of the guy things in that the guy lines in it might be better uh, but I know I'm going to be comfortable regardless I then put up the footprint just with the amount of disruptions and things but I've not even got it securely pegged in. I've basically tensioned out the the corners in order to get the poles in place. It's a freestanding tent, uh, which is new to me. Uh, so the footprint I haven't put up yet. Uh, I haven't laid out just because of interruptions and whatever. It's there. It just basically goes under it. I don't know if it's the grass that I'm on, but the material of this feels a bit more softer. Uh, obviously it's doing the job. It's a nice soft feeling. It's a little bit saggy. I, can, I don't know if I could... I've tensioned out the corners which were easily done uh, to get more tension for the space of the floor. But I think this is what it is. But for myself it's perfect. I've got head tight, I can sit up. I could even do what, the things I want to do in here with all the space. Then I've got two porch areas with plenty of space. It's perfect. I know I'm going to be very comfortable and organised when I go camping. So, for a guy, it's just to the Van Gogh Banshee 200 to this four season tent. Pros and cons Banshee is great for its price range. It's 5,000mm static head as this is, and the 10,000 ground sheet. Whether it's different types of chemicals or whatever, that's for your tech guys to know. But it's great for the waterproofing. It's solid, sturdy structure for what it is in its frame size. I can't fault the Van Gogh Banshee for the weather and times I've had it in. From minus six in December last year, three nights up at Steel Falls, to a nice sunny day down the woods. It is a great tent. But I need space, I need head tight, I need comfort, and I need a good proper four season tent and uh, to me this is going to be a big a big difference so uh, we'll see how it goes and then get it set up and get it out but uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment and of course subscribe to get notified of my upcoming videos thanks guys all the best